Okay, so first of all, hold down control to select multiple shapes, and then we can format all of these shapes at once. So I'll go to the Shape Format tab, and then we'll change the shape fill to gold, and the shape outline to black, and I'll also increase the weight of the outline to four and a half points, and then change the text fill to black as well. Then if you already have a shape that has the formatting that you want, you can select it, and then go to the Home tab and click on Format Painter, and then select another shape, and it will copy the formatting from one shape to the other. And we can double click on the Format Painter in order to change the format of multiple shapes at once. And then click on the Format Painter again to deselect it. Another option is to take the shape that has the formatting that you want and then hold down Control and click and drag in order to copy it. And then it has all of the formatting that we want, and all we need to do is change the text. Another option is to right click on the shape and go set as default shape. Now, when I go to shapes and select the rectangle and click and drag, this shape will have the same format. And this applies to all of the shapes, so if I select the oval and then click and drag, it also has the same formatting. But this doesn't work for the lines, so if I select this arrow here and then click and drag, this one is still blue. I'll change the formatting of this, and I'll change it to red and increase the width and then change the arrow type to this arrow here and make it bigger. Then I'll right click and this time the option is set as default line. So now if I go back to shapes and I select any of the lines, there'll now be a red arrow. This only works inside this presentation. If I open up a different document, then the default shape will be what it usually is. If you're just changing one piece of formatting, for example, I'll change the shape fill here to blue, then you can select another shape and press F4 on the keyboard. And F4 is the keyboard shortcut to repeat whatever you just did. So in this case, what I just did is change the color of the shape that I had selected. So if I select this shape and press F4, it changes the color of this shape. I'll now change the formatting of this shape here. So I'll change the fill to green and remove the outline. Now, while I have this shape selected, I'll use the keyboard shortcut Control Shift C and that will copy the formatting. I can then select a different shape and use Control shift v and that will paste the formatting, and I can do this as many times as I like. For the final option, we'll right-click on the Quick Access Toolbar and go Customize Quick Access Toolbar, and then change the commands to Commands Not in the Ribbon, then select Apply Style and add it to the list. I'll scroll down and also do this for Pick Up Style. So I'll add that to the list as well, and then I'll move Pick Up Style upwards one, and OK. Now I can select a shape and go Pick Up Object Style, then select a different shape and Apply Object Style and that will copy the formatting from one shape to the other, and I can do that as many times as I like. Okay, so in this video I have shown you how to apply the same formatting to multiple shapes in PowerPoint, and that is everything.